Hi guys, it's Anna Friedrich and I've been promising to do the updated version of Q&A aka get to know me tag or random facts about me and I'm finally doing it. I've got a lot of questions and suggested themes so I picked 20 random ones from all the different categories and I'm gonna share all of them with you in this video. Hope you'll get to know me a little bit better after this one. Make sure you comment below and uh, let me know what you guys want to see in my next YouTube video. I read all of your comments and I appreciate your help. Also, don't skip to click on the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything and it means me a lot. Thank you so much. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the first question. What is your real and full name? My real and full name is Anna. I know it's short, but there's nothing more. And uh, I don't have a middle name. My surname is Chobanov with the letter Ch. It's a Croatian surname and not even Croatian folks pronounce it right. They read it Chobanov. So I changed it into Friedrich many years ago, 10 or maybe 12 years ago. Friedrich is way easier to pronounce and to remember, especially to foreigners. And no, I'm not married. When will you come to Zagreb? I'm in Zagreb right now, but not for long. So the next question is, what nationality am I? I get the confusion around this one. The way I look certainly didn't help you to pinpoint my origins. Egyptians think that I'm their nationality, Turkish that I'm theirs, Indian thinks that I'm a Desi girl, even some Mexicans thought that I'm a Latina. I've been moving a lot and of course I have mixed roots from both sides of my family but I'm born and raised in Croatia and at this point I live in Zagreb which is the capital of Croatia. Tell me your height. I'm 171 centimeters tall. So the next question is what is my zodiac sign or a symbol? I was born day after Christmas, December 26th, so my zodiac symbol is Capricorn. That should explain my stubbornness if you believe in astronomy. Alright, so the next question is very popular. I get uh, asked this constantly. How I got so many social media followings on my Instagram and Facebook? How I started, when do I have a manager and a lot more social networking related questions. Okay, now, this is very complex and I can't give you all the answers, tips, suggestions and advices how to become more socially engaged in a minute or two because that's probably the main reason why I'm getting so much questions about it. People want to grow their pages and it's pretty obvious that they'll ask for an advice from someone who's been there and done something what evidentially gave good results. I'm gonna film entire series of videos about Instagram, Facebook tips and tricks, what worked for me the best, what shortcuts and mistakes you should avoid and I'll try to explain you everything I know without holding secrets, no bullshit like buy this app, monthly, free or anything like that. Helping you out won't harm me in any way, I won't lose my followers if you get yours. People are sometimes like ridiculously competitive and jealous and they don't want to reveal certain things and um, I just don't have problems with revealing. <laughs> My Playboy Shots proves it. Will you come to India anytime soon? Yes, I'll be there from September 1st. I'm going to meet my friend photographer Ramachandran and this time everyone who's interested can come and meet me in Chennai, Tamil Nadu on September 6th because I'm attending a workshop so if you want to work with me and take some photos learn from the best photographers about glamour and fashion industry you're all invited to participate on this amazing event I'll put the link in the description box so everyone interested could book uh, your spot for this fashion and glamour photography seminar and workshop um, <laughs> I'm really excited about this one last thing I ate really? Okay, I have to think about this one. I just... I just drink some water. Oh! No. Yeah, I ate some plums this morning or it was yesterday, I'm not sure. 
plums probably yeah this question is very 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 popular are you a virgin first of all I would like to say thank you because you probably think that I'm a lot younger than I actually am but on the other hand maybe you just think I have to stay in celibate because of my religion the answer is no I'm not a virgin, I'm 31 years old and I'm not a religious person. I wouldn't describe myself as promiscuous, I'm far from that, but I've been in a couple of long relationships and let's just say we went further from holding hands. If your religion or your moral is telling that you should wait until you're 40, 50, until you're married or whatever, you do yours, but I've been there, done that. And the next question is what am I currently watching? Yeah. I just finished watching Men in a High Castle, both seasons, and I liked it a lot. If you like Ridley Scott, Nazi history team with little bit of science fiction elements combined with really good acting performance and unique story, I highly recommend it to you. I recommend you also my favorite American horror story, all seasons, all of them, and Stranger Things, of course. Don't sleep on Stranger Things, trust me, it's worth watching. I started to watch the other day new X-Files, I don't know which season it is, they just release it and... I'm a huge fan of old X-Files, I mean huge, I was obsessed with it back then in my early years and I'm trying to hold on to little reminders on the glory this series once had and the excitement and joy it gave me with every single episode but I'm not finding it. I'm continuing to watch in anticipation that something's gonna change, the producer will guide them all back on the right track, but it's just not happening. I'm not giving up yet. We'll see. Okay, so what's the next question? What's my best feature? If this question is about my appearance, I say that my tattoos are my favorite body parts, if you know me, you just have to know that I'm genuinely in love with tattoos, hyperrealistic portraits, biomechanic lettering, face tattoos, neck tattoos. I wish I could get one all over my neck. I just love all of them. And my uh, next favorite feature is probably my hair. Although it looks messy most of the time on my videos and photos and it drives me crazy, especially the baby hairs, my blonde baby hairs. I love how thick and shiny and long it is. I've mistreated it. For so long I've been dying it in crazy colors uh, since I was 12 and uh, yeah at this point of the time I'm just uh, happy that I'm not completely bald. Okay, what's your favorite meme? <clears throat> I know it pronounces me but I like meme better. I'll insert some of my favorites, okay? <clears throat> oh. The next question is juicy, <laughs> okay, alright if that's the game you want to play. What's my guilty pleasure? Um, if you had asked me the same question like 15 years ago, even 10 years ago, I would answer this completely different. Am I? I'm not proud of that, but it's all part of my life, my experience and all the these fragments from my past made me the person I am today and I wouldn't change it for the world. Today I'm not drinking alcohol, I don't do drugs, I quit to smoke cigarettes like 9 years ago. I used to love parties, I barely ever slept, I was too skinny, had serious health issues, I still do, I have a serious heart condition, but overall I'm way healthier, happier, I look like a regular human being and not a zombie anymore. And it may sound as a lie, but I don't have any guilty pleasures. If you'll take my chocolate obsession and shoes, lingerie, makeup, books, collections as guilty pleasures, that would be all. And boobs. I like boobs. But who doesn't like boobs? Okay, what about music you like? I'm still listening the same brand, brands. Bands and artists I've been listening from 90s. My favorite bands are Korn, Static X, Cold Chamber, Deftones, Prodigy, Marilyn Manson, Rammstein. The next question. What drives you crazy? Um, I don't know was this meant to touch on things that drives me mad or excited, so I'll answer in both cases. What makes me excited and I can't control myself over are the new movie releases. If I'm anticipating, like really waiting for some thriller, horror, SF, art movie, never mind the genre, if I'm waiting for it for a long time, the moment it hits the cinema, I have to watch it. Is it in the middle of the night? 
am I on the other side of the time of the town am I tired and um, it's totally out of my schedule I don't care get it to me now or I'll go into cinema the same goes with the series I'll watch the entire season in like two days I won't sleep but I'll watch it till the end and the things that drive me mad I don't get mad at all like I'm not surrounded with stupid or evil people and uh, if some of my friends and family do something that I don't approve I know it was not intentional and they haven't done it to hurt me in any possible way and I'm just not a grumpy or aggressive person obviously I'm not happy when someone lies to me I used to be in uh, really bad relationships and I hated all the lies accusations jealousy but it was a long time ago and I left terrible things and nasty words from bullies far behind me I move forward today my skin is very thick and I realize that I'm the one in control of people which surrounds me positive vibes happy thoughts healthy ambitions and I just know what's important to me and what's not so the next question is why pigs <laughs> that's a cute one you see you just mentioned the pigs and you bought like instant smile on my face I think they're just adorable animals I love the cute faces love the sounds they make when they're happy I just love everything about them and I think they are like the cutest pets ever unfortunately I don't own mini pig never have but I hope one day one day I'll adopt that sweet little bean and call it mine okay let's check this one out uh, my biggest fear death of people which are close to me I've lost some of my loved ones and uh, yeah it's my biggest fear motto that you live by oh I've got a couple of them that I stick by it's an entire philosophy around it not a single sentence I honestly believe that you can achieve whatever you set your mind on if it's reasonable if it's not like supernatural idea obviously you can't make yourself invisible fly as a bird or resurrect like dead animals fortunately you can fly in that special suits but you know what I'm talking about don't be a douche okay if you are like really focused on something let's say sport competition and you want to win you're giving your best you've been practicing for months even years eating healthy giving yourself uh, completely into that cause I'm certain that eventually you'll achieve your goals the same goes for singers dancers writers for everybody just stay focused work hard don't be afraid to seek for help attend classes or talk to tutors and don't forget to kind to be kind to others and humble person because bad personality can hold you down having a soft heart in this world is courage not weakness in my opinion bad attitude can harm you more than a lack of talent you can improve your talent with practice you can learn and improve so much but if you're arrogant mean and if you're mistreating people no one's gonna help you out or even be surrounded by you remember to stay humble when you reach your goals as well and uh, just don't forget life is what you make it okay guys I think this was enough for this video I don't want it to be too long Hopefully you know a bit more about me now and hopefully I'll see you in my next video which is coming out soon. Thank you for watching, enjoy yourself and bye bye.